Dane, something sounds funny with the truck. I think we need to fix it. It's fine. Let's do this. We are working our way home from our vacation, huh, Everett? and we are filling up gas right now and so usually we wouldn't cover this in a video but um by the intro you kind of uh, know that something's happening with the truck so the chevy has decided that its transmission is not going to be functional here in a mysterious amount of time it is grinding it is making terrible noises and so basically we're filling up and we're going to hope we make it home Up. It's a very hummy hum. So uh, we are currently in St. George, Utah, and we have about a six and a half, seven hour drive back to Colorado where we live. And there is a lot of up and down terrain that's in there and we're really hoping the Chevy makes it. Um, there's this area known as the San Rafael Swell we have to drive through and honestly it is probably the most scary part of our trip because there is no cell signal. The closest towns are about 100 miles apart that actually have any services. So we're hopefully going to make it but we're we'll keep you guys updated as we drive back for you it's going to be like two seconds but we'll keep you posted so we are a little, little bit further north than St. George we're near Beaver. yeah we're near Beaver in Parowan and uh the truck is running way warmer than it normally does nine degrees it's super hot it's just running super hot 81 82 that's speed limit here 80 179 181 it's amazingly awesome so it never runs that hot usually on a highway for us it runs around i want to say 130 oh, like drop down to maybe 140 if you're really pushing it i'm slowing it down to cool it off so it's 176 it is cool so, so yeah obviously that's not normal for this yeah. truck so and if you were riding in it you would be able to feel Vibration the vibrations, lips. like underneath my feet, it is vibrating. You can hear and feel it. And you you can hear, hear it. Hear and it is not comfortable. And so right now we're either hoping we blow it up somewhere in Rich near Richfield, or it makes it home. <laughs> or it makes it home because Richfield oh, is like the last Chevy dealership until Grand Junction. And so we're hoping that if it's gonna go, it goes in Richfield and it's kind to us. If not, it makes it home. Better make it home. So this is there. super stressful and I can honestly tell you that I am not happy with Chevy. Yeah. Chevy can go pound sand. This is the second transmission a year apart. That's the same place almost. Same place almost. Like we're, Canab and St. George are so close to each other. But we weren't even that hard on it. And it's just being a piece of junk. Yeah, and so I can... started on the way down. We just didn't notice because it's so subtle. I think we would like to get it. We're going to get it fixed. Obviously. But I can tell you... Unless I end up keeping it. Yeah, we're at 150 right now. 
Everything's home for me. We're good, so it's making it home. So yes, we'll check back in later to let you know what the issue is, if I can get it figured out. So it is the next day after we got home from our trip, and we were wondering if the vibration might be caused by the bent transmission bars. And so we removed those with much, much... Uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. But, so, as far as we just took it on a ride around our block and down the highway for a little bit. It's not vibrating. And it's not vibrating anymore. Um, it still feels off. Just a little bit off, not much. But until it gets worse, you know, we it's can't take it into the dealership to see, to, um, to, oh. still right to, <laughs> uh, to, to see, like, if anything is actually damaged inside the transmission because it, otherwise we're just going to pay for a diagnostic appointment really and be told it's, it's fine it's within parameters that's all fine actually it's so, actually very good so, so i think we're just going to run it the way it is and if it gets any worse then we will take it from there and and take it in and go through that that whole chevy warranty process which we've done before but so far so good it seems like we're definitely removing the bars we just fixed it. They weren't, but the thing is, the pan isn't pushed in at all. It's not dented. It's, it's not dented a light at all. Rub on, on that much. It's the latest little black so mark I don't, the bar rub. So apparently, it was just it causing lots bar. of vibrations. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a mystery.